Hi, once again, I'm Alan Aitken and welcome to the South China Morning Post's Racing Podcast for Wednesday the 7th of October. Well, a little bit of local news first of all and jockey Darren Biedman may turn his back on Derby winner collection when he resumes for the season in the Sha Tin Trophy on Sunday week. Now that's not for sure, but trainer John Moore said that he had left the decision up to Darren Biedman, and after yesterday's barrier trials by Viva Pataka and Collection, it would surprise a lot of people if Biedman didn't choose to ride Viva Pataka. Moore conceded after yesterday's barrier trial that Collection was lacklustre and didn't trial as well as his older stablemate despite beating him home, and said it was down to the extra weight that Collection has put on body weight since he last raced last season. Moore admitted that uh, Collection at this stage was uh, bigger in body weight than he would have liked, but said the weight will come off between now and the Hong Kong international races in December. Nevertheless, he agreed that at this stage, Viva Pataka looks more forward than his younger stablemate, in the run-up to the Sha Tin Trophy. That was the race Viva Pataka won in such scintillating style 12 months ago, and Moore said that the riding boy who attends Viva Pataka told him that the horse is in even better condition than he was 12 months ago. Well, elsewhere in the news, it's home and away. Uh, Happy Zero, very impressive on Sunday on the local scene. And, of course, in the arc, we had See the Stars making it six Group 1 wins on the trot, despite having a few difficulties in the run. And in today's On the Rails column, I've dealt with each of those performances in different items, and I invite you to take a look online at www.racing.scmp.com or pick up your copy of today's South China Morning Post. Well, Jockey Challenge time and Douglas White was back in the winner's chair for the challenge on Sunday at Sha Tin and Oddsmakers last night posted him a 2.6 early favourite for Happy Valley tonight. But I believe his arch rival Brett Preble looks better value and should be able to make good use of the fact that he has quality, if not quantity, in his rides tonight. White has eight rides, Preble only six, but three of Preble's rides look to be very strong at winning chances, and he was posted last night at 5.0 for the Jockey Challenge and got out to 5.5 in early action. The big firmer was Matthew Chadwick, 4.5 into 4, and a little bit of money for Keith Jung. He was opening up at 8.5, got out to 9, and back into 8. So a few... Uh, Chances back to beat Douglas White for tonight's challenge. I think that the best value is in Brett Preble. Well, having said that, it's time to look at our feature race for the night. And that's the seventh event, the Hong Kong Country Club Challenge Cup. And I do think that Douglas White is certainly the man to beat in this race. Well, if seeing is believing, Abel Dragon is a better horse this season. He was most impressive first time out in Class 4 after spending all of last season in Class 3 and unable to win. He goes back to Class 3 tonight, but I think if Douglas White is able to give him the same kind of ride he gave Abel Dragon at his first time sitting on the horse, that Abel Dragon will make it two on end. He's got an advantage in fitness over some of his major rivals. He's got a little bit better draw than them, and I think that White will have him in the right spot and Abel Dragon, the horse to beat in the night's feature. Best bet time, and Royal Pumpkin, my best tonight. We have to wait until the final race, but Royal Pumpkin, another one impressive on returning for the season in Class 4 at Sha Tin. I think you'll be even better suited in Class 3, around the 1650 metres at Happy Valley, and he's my best in the last race. That's race 8, number 8, Royal Pumpkin. Well, that's all for today's South China Morning Post Racing Podcast. As I mentioned earlier, have a look online at www.racing.scmp.com 
or pick up your copy of the South China Morning Post. I'm Alan Aitken. Good punting.